Yes. Uh, so I'm Uwe Ritala and this is Timo Salonen. and we're, we come from University of Vasa in Finland. And today we will be talking about our Moodle dashboard and what we've done to enhance it a bit for our users. So, <clears throat> so basically this was a project we started uh, maybe one and a half years ago. Uh, when we realized that it took a lot of effort for our students to uh, get the data they need, uh, need, wanted to have uh, concerning their studies and uh, other daily stuff. And uh, so they had to log into several systems to get this data. And also the UIs for these systems were, uh, well, they were pretty much stuck on, on the 90s. So, so they were hardly usable on a mobile device and, uh, and uh, it was really difficult for them to find the whole picture. Uh, so we decided to get all this information into, into one place uh, so that our students could easily view the uh, status of their studies. Uh, we studied our system uh, login statistic a little bit. So we noticed that Moodle was our most used system. So that's why we decided to build our dashboard there. Uh, we wanted to build everything inside a team, so it would be easier to make our future upgrades. Uh, and we used our uh, team clean as our starting point to our work. Yeah, and so it uh, took uh, about six months to build this thing. Uh, the first layout was drawn sometime in November 2015, and uh, the main hard lifting was done during spring 2016 with the release in, in June. So basically to illustrate this, this, uh, uh, this was basically what the students uh, started with before we, we got going and uh, we managed to maybe scale it down to this. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically this is, this is what the desktop site looks like for when, they, when the students log into Moodle now. If we scroll down to the page, it looks like this. And uh, uh, it works pretty well on a mobile device. Uh, at least we work really hard on, on getting the, uh, also the mobile version working nicely. So you have the tabs for the data here. <clears throat> so if we dig a little deeper inside uh, what all the stuff we had on, on the page. Okay, we can first look look out our new navigation at the top. Uh, first we have a uh, home icon which always leads back to our dashboard page and next we have our courses so it's a list of my courses and then we have option to choose language and ne next we have user details, settings and lockout button. And next we have our own new search, which is dynamic. So you can just start typing and it shows the results immediately. Uh, you can use course, full name, course short name or teacher's name to search from, from our search. And behind menu we have the old navigation and depending on content page we have also the administration block inside of that menu. Okay, uh, and then the next section we have here is the data that's pulled from uh, our student information system. I was told that SIS is the term I need to use. It's some, every, everyone knows what that is, maybe. Okay, so anyway, uh, the first up we have the total number of uh, student credit points for this user uh, in a round thing there. And then we have two pro progress bars. Uh, the first one is, is how many student credit points this uh, student has achieved this year, this academic year. And on the right we have uh, how, many, how much time they have on a university before their right to study expires. And then we also have the when, when it's, the student is, is very good, we have the donut to perk them up and further, further uh, develop their skills. <clears throat> okay. On the bottom of this gray section, we have three upcoming exams. 
And if you want to see more, you can just click the show all icon in there. Yeah, and here on the top we have uh, three most recent grades. And uh, here, if you click on the show all button, it actually uh, produces a whole history of, of the, the students' grades. And they also have the, uh, can click on that grade distribution link there to show uh, a particular courses, how, how the grades have been distributed on a particular course. So they can, they can compare uh, where they've ended up on the, on the scale. And in the yellow section, we have three upcoming lectures with time and room information in it. And there you can also click show week view link if you wish to see more. Uh, then we added this uh, feedback form uh, to get, because it was quite a, a lot of uh, changes made to the, to the Moodle. So we wanted to have as much feedback as possible and uh, make it really easy for the users to give feedback. So we added this form and they can uh, send uh, ide their ideas on improvements and also new features and we actually received quite good ones this way. Okay, now we can move on to middle section of our dashboard. Uh, there we have course overview list on the left side of and right side we have course categories. Uh, we have one new feature in, in our course overview list because of that feedback we received on that our new, new form. So basically when you click edit from there, students can easily hide courses with these toggles. So students can hide their completed courses or if they just want to see those courses anymore in, in this list. But uh, students still, still remain enrolled on those courses, so we just hide from, from this list. Okay, uh, and then on to the, of course, the most important section, because our students are hungry. So we have the lunch menus for the campus restaurants here, and also uh, at the very bottom we have the quick links, which are resources that we thought the students might uh, appreciate to have easy, easy access to even inside <coughs> Moodle. Uh, okay, so that's basically uh, how our student dashboard looks like. But amazingly enough, we, we uh, were ahead of schedule when building this thing. Is anybody uh, like doing that nowadays? I don't know. But uh, actually, we, we just uh, decided that maybe the teachers would also appreciate some, some of this kind of functionality. So uh, the de our teacher dashboard looks some, something like this. Okay, this is a teacher view, so after they log in, uh, they get same kind of layout, but different data in it. So we have navigation, course overview list, uh, menus are the same for the, for the teachers, but, but the quick links are targeted to teachers, which I'm not seeing right now, but they are for teachers. Uh, so this is again uh, data that's coming from, the, uh, from our SIS. So first up uh, on the left we have the uh, uh, credit points, this student credit points this teacher has, has uh, produced this year. Uh, and then uh, in the center we have uh, the teacher's latest, ex latest exam and they can see uh, how many students have received a particular grade or, or, or failed. And then uh, to the right, uh, there's the percentage of past grades uh, on these teacher's courses for, for this academic year. And underneath each of these, uh, these uh, data points, you have the more button, or, or it's not a button, but link. And if you click on that, you, you can see uh, historical data, so you can compare different years' uh, data here. Okay. Again, in the gray section, we have a list of exams that teachers has to, has to grade. Uh, our teachers has 30 day, days time to grade. So that's why we have some warning signs there. Orange mean, means that you, you have under week to le left to grading. And red one means that your grading is already late. And bottom of this section, we have upcoming exams uh, with 
information how many students have registered for, for them. Yeah, so, so these were also coming from our SIS. They are not Moodle, Moodle exams or, or uh, grades. Uh, and then we have this yellow, uh, in the yellow section, we all have the lectures and uh, feedback just as we had for the, for the students. But we also added this create a new Moodle course uh, link here, which brings up uh, this dialogue uh, with which the teachers can create courses all by, them, by themselves. Before we had a form and one of us had to do the heavy lifting here, so uh, so this is this has been a, quite an improvement for our workflow at least. So basically, the uh, teachers just uh, choose the course they want to create, and these uh, again are uh, courses that are coming from the SIS. Uh, so this teacher has these courses in our SIS. Uh, so these are courses that are coming in the future, and so they uh, just choose the course here. And then they can uh, create a new course that doesn't have, have any content on them, or then they can click on this, and they uh, can choose uh, to copy uh, course content from one of their existing courses in this Moodle. So uh, we choose some, some old course they have as a blueprint for this course. Then they uh, just choose the category, click on create course, takes a couple of seconds, and we're all set. So that's been pretty, pretty handy, handy for them. So that's basically uh, what we have for the teachers in, inside our da dashboard. Uh, do we still have time? You do, yeah. We yeah. do. Great. <laughs> because uh, that's, that's not all. <laughs> no. actually, actually, this is, this is, we want to show one more thing that we added to our Moodle. It's, it's not inside the dashboard, so we're sidestepping a bit. But uh, uh, it's, it's a nice feature, at least for our workflow at our university. And it's a teacher tools. Yes. Okay, this is layout for, for our course view. So what we wanted to do is to have easy way to publish courses. So that's why we added this our own blog teachers tools. Uh, in most cases, our, our teachers doesn't need much more than this our own tool, so they don't, don't have to go any administration block and find anything up from there. Uh, what we have here, first we have enable editing, secondly course visibility, so you can easily hide and, hide and show course. Under it we have set a course key, so we can easily type new course key for this course. And after we save it, we can find the course enrollment key right under that toggle. So the teacher can easily you later on if, if she needs the course key. Yeah, and then, uh, then we have show all topics, which, which is actually just changes the course layout. We have two course layout. We have the uh, kind of classic uh, one topic after another on a flat page. Uh, view and uh, if you click on this, we we uh, display each topic on their own separate page, and you also get the table of contents there to the to the right, where you can easily jump on or uh, jump to different topics, <clears throat> and that's pretty handy for for courses that have uh, really are really really long and have uh, multiple sections. And then finally, we have add a teacher, which, which is actually just a link to the user en enrollment page. Uh, but uh, we also display all the teachers on this list, so you don't have to go into the list and try to find find the different uh, the, the teachers am among the other other types of uh, users on a course. So that's basically it. Well, a minute to spare. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you very much. Yeah, we've got this on super. So thank you, lads, and a minute to spare, which is brilliant. Um, can I ask, does anybody have any questions? And if you do, if you can name your name and institution, please. No questions. Sir. No <laughs> questions. Hold on. We've Karen. Makes me run across the far side. Hi, uh, Karen from Moodle HQ. Um, I was just interested, did, did you do any kind of before and after analysis of, you know, the, the, the I mean, it looks amazing, the improvements look fantastic, but did, 
were you able to get any statistics of you know how it, it, it improved things? Did people find things quicker? That sort of stuff. Uh, I don't. We didn't actually have time for that because we we wanted to get it done fast and and because we we had to upgrade in June anyway. So we ha we wanted to get it really really fast and and basically. Everything you see here is just uh, what we thought would be useful. So, so there wasn't any committees coming in and, and wishing for things. So, so we really had it very easy, easy to, to build. That's why we were ahead of schedule, of course. <laughs> it always helps when you don't have to ask anybody yes. uh, question in the end. Hold on. Uh, unfortunately, not. It's it's really dirty Java uh, jQuery code. It's, it's not a block. No, actually. <laughs> so which actually we're just fetching things here and there and displaying it nice. nicely. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Even the clap started next door. So thanks okay. again. Thank you. Thank you very much.